They are the first first responders and 12 to 15 times a day. These 911 telecommunicators give CPR instructions over the phone. Of those calls, about four to five are for suspected overdoses. New Hampshire 911, what is your emergency? This is 911, can you hear me? How old is the patient? Is she awake? When you are in the worst moments of your life, these are the people on the other end of the line. They have seen an uptick over the last few years in the number of CPR related calls for service. Many of those have been attributed to the opioid crisis. Has he vomited blood or coffee ground material in the last 24 hours? This is headquarters for emergency communications based in Concord. There's another call center in Laconia to ensure that no matter what, every call is answered. New Hampshire 911, what is your emergency? 1,200 to 1,500 calls come into this center every single day. 490,000 calls a year answered by 58 operators who work 10 hour shifts. Sometimes we're definitely nervous on the inside, but yes. you'll never know by listening to our voice. The most critical piece of information a caller needs to have is location. It's harder than it sounds. Every detail matters. Cross streets, what floor you're on, landmarks, what door should they enter? Can't call? Texting works too, and it's saved lives since its inception in 2015. Do not leave her alone until the paramedics are right there. The New Hampshire drug crisis is felt here every single day. Most of our CPR calls involving heroin don't start out as CPR. They start out as, a, as an overdose with difficulty breathing. Time is critical. From the moment a person goes down, every minute CPR is delayed decreases survivability by 10%, according to the experts. So this team is trained to coach callers through hands-on CPR. Here's how it works. Place the heel of your hand on the breastbone, right between the nipples. Put your other hand on top of that hand. Pump the chest hard and fast, at least twice per second and two inches deep. Let the chest come up all the way between pumps. We're going to do this until help arrives. In 15 seconds, Sherry Raposo has the caller giving life-saving compressions. We want to keep it uh, that pace, ma'am. One and two and three and four. Rescue breathing is added to the mix if the call is for overdose. And yes, this team gives Narcan instructions as well. The most frustrating part of the job? They never know how the crisis ends. We have no outcome. They'll hang up the phone once they've completed what they need and the first responders have walked in, and that's the end of the story. In Concord, Amy Covino, WMUR News 9.